Hi coders, welcome to Code Online. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to install Matplotlib library in Python. All right, and I'm also going to show you with an example on how to chart simple graphs. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to open my command prompt, and now we are going to navigate to our desktop. My bad there. All right, so we are going to create a folder on my desktop. Let's name it plot. All right, so let's now get to that. And for simplicity, I'm going to create a virtual environment in this plot folder because I don't want matplotlib to install globally because currently I'm not using it. I'm just doing it for this video. All right, so the command for that is virtual env. ENV. And if you don't know how to work with virtual environment in Python, then I have a video in the description. All right, so let's create one. Great. Now let's navigate to that environment via env slash scripts and then activate. And a kid is crying in the background. So now to install matplotlib in Python, well, super easy. You just have to do a pip install and then the library name. So pip install and then matplotlib. That's all it takes. Great, so it is done. It has installed all the necessary dependent libraries like all these Python data util, pillow, numpy, etc. along with matplotlib, all right? Now I'm going to show you a little example, very simple graph on how to plot it and how it looks in Python, all right? Let's get started. So I'm going to open our code editor, voila. All right, so our folder is there. Now let's quickly create a Python file. So there, and we are going to name it, let's say example.py. All right, let's create our script. So from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. All right, that's actually the current ongoing convention to call pyplot as plt. You can name it anything. You can type it plot, graph, anything. All right, so let's keep it plt for now. So this is going to be a really simple example with x and y values only. So let's do that. x has a list of 1, 3, 4, and 6 value. All right. And now y is going to have similar values like 3, 4, 7, 8. Great. Now let's access the pyplot as plt. All right. So plt dot plot. And then we are going to give it, and then we are going to give it x axis and then the y-axis, and then we are going to do a plot show. Very simple, we have not added any labels or any color, anything, just a very simple graph. So let's run this program, run Python file and terminal. So it is currently saying that no module named matplotlib. Now why is that? We just downloaded it. Well, I hope you already know that we need to activate our virtual environment. So let's do that, scripts, and then activate. And now when you type python example.py, wonderful. So our code is working correctly and there are just so many things you can do with matplotlib. For example, you can have a title display above your graph. For example, plt.title and then name it sample graph. All right. You can also set a color of the line there. So let's say color and name the color in a string format all right let's say purple you can also say the labels of x and y axis to do that you need to have plt.x label and then in string format you can say let's say x values and then i'm going to copy this line via alt shift and down arrow and this is going to be the y label all right so that y values now let's try to run our code again. Just access this command. Wonderful. So this time the color is purple. I hope you know the color before. Well, this time let's make it gray. And as you can see, X values are here, Y values are there. So our code is working correctly. That means our installation of matplotlib is working correctly. This is currently a line graph, okay? If you want to create a bar graph, and it is very simple to change it. Just say bar here. Wonderful. 
and see now it is a bar chart and if you want to do sometimes the bar chart does not make sense because currently it is not making sense to have it something like this but if you're making that program you already know what kind of bar you want for example you want a scatter chart so that scatter and now let's run the code again and this time you have these values scattered across the graph so it depends on your need all right that's it for this video i hope you gained something valuable and if you did please subscribe to code channel and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye